What the heck am I doing hanging upside down? Good question. Thanks for asking. Um, as many of you know, I had hip surgery back in April, and uh, I think these are good moves for anyone with or without hip surgery to improve hip mobility, so check them out. So I definitely got to give a shout out to uh, Barbell One sponsored athlete Bryce Lewis. I think the first time I ever saw anything relating to hanging yourself upside down on resistance bands was something that Bryce was doing. But here this is just showing you wrapping them around a bar. You'll notice I'm in a Smith machine rather than a squat rack. Uh, that's just so that way the bar is secured. And I try to angle my body in a way that those the little safety catches I think are going to hang better. So there we go. We got the loop all set up. Let's go ahead and change the angle here. You can see me going ahead and sitting in there almost like a like a seat, right? You'll see it kind of goes just a little bit higher than like the crease below my butt cheeks. Now it's key to hold on tightly to that, otherwise it's going to want to slide up your butt. And then again also to hold onto it as you lower yourself down in position. That allows you to quickly, once you get used to it, just pop both feet up there and then you're good in position. Now you'll notice that I just kind of, I'm going to fast forward through these. The amount of time I actually spend in each position is more than this. So go ahead and laugh at my uh, humping hips there. But you'll notice I just kind of walk myself further away, um, further under, just kind of a bunch of different positions, hang out there. Also try and bob and really let my weight sink down. Now you'll see me moving back this direction. So again, straight vertical, a little back, way back. And then again, just kind of bobbing around, hanging out in the different positions. And again, with all this, you really need to make sure that that band is secure on your butt. Otherwise, you'll notice you're just fighting it sliding the whole time. But it's it's not too hard once you get used to it to uh, keep it in position most of the time where you want it. So now you'll see me. This is just kind of showing you how to get out of position. Now, granted, I think I could pull myself on just the, on just the bands. But you'll notice me grab another hand just to make sure the band, God forbid, it were to snap. And that's me getting out of position. So here we go. Switching over to some unilateral stuff and also some different moves uh, bilateral. I find when I put my feet together like this, the bobbing up and down action um, is definitely a lot more effective than when the feet are braced on the sides of the Smith machine. Again, I just think it allows me to actually bear a lot more of my weight. Um, so you'll see me as I switch positions, I'll often throw a foot out to the side just to make sure I'm a little more stable. What I did there basically was just slip my feet up a little bit higher. I find the higher my feet go on the band, the more I just kind of feel that good stretch deep in the hip capsule. That's what you're trying to do is loosen up that hip capsule. And so you'll also notice me just kind of finagling around, rotating a little, bobbing. Again, like I said, I really don't think there's a right or a wrong. You're just trying to find positions that feel good and feel like they boost your mobility. Again, you can't see my body, but basically <laughs> throughout my whole body, but basically my upper back is lying on the ground there and you'll see sometimes I even get a little bit more spastic <laughs> again just trying to create some clearance make some room in there um, I find that getting the inside edge of my heels together makes this feel best when they're not quite uh, uniformly on each other okay now here we go again feet out wide to get into a position that's just to make sure the band doesn't slide now you'll notice crossing the foot over the band and then again, you can take that opposite foot and even uh, allow more of your weight to be bared rather than having it on the side of the Smith. And again, just bobbing up and down, really trying to get that kind of external rotators of the hip that can be tight, those loosen up. You'll notice me stabilizing there on the Smith, just kind of going back and forth, trying to find good positions, rotating my body a little bit. Um, and again, we'll do that for each side. It's almost kind of like a foam roll, you know, you're searching for spots. In this case, you're just kind of searching for tight areas, things that feel good. Um, and just seem to be loosening things up the way you want. And I find in this way actually really kind of torquing off of that band and torque, 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 like with the out of the hip, like really helps intensify this even more and feel like you're really getting some uh, improvements in, in just the mobility there and, the, again, the looseness of that hip capsule, which can get really, really tight in a lot of us strength athletes. So let's go ahead here and switch uh, like full all the way across bracing on the smith machine again just a different position to go unilateral this one i'll hang out in a little bit more not quite bob quite as much because it's not as stable to foot you'll notice that right foot is actually under one of those little prongs on the smith machine this is a body master smith machine as you know some smiths the little uh, prongs are inside the track on each side which makes it harder to uh, 
do that. Now you'll notice here I went to a full on just hanging <laughs> again, allowing my whole body weight to be bared. And again, like I said, just really kind of torquing, torquing, torquing on that hip, just really getting everything all loosened up in there. This is something that I prefer to do just once my hips are warmed up in general at any time of day. Um, more so, I guess, after a workout, but you can do it before. I just don't think you want to do this too, too much because I don't think that you want things too, too limber before an actual heavy training session. But then again, you do want to get that hip capsule and everything in good position, moving well uh, when you're going ahead and loading it in your workout. So again, you'll notice I switch sides here, primarily letting that left leg get uh, exposure to the band and then just crossing the one over. Now here, notice my feet go on the pegs and I'm basically just walking down. This is almost like walking down into a deeper, like imagine a deep squat. And again, just kind of hanging, rocking left to right. Honestly, with the hip impingement and the surgery and stuff I had, this does not feel too, too comfortable. I'm just trying to show you guys. I think for people that are in a better spot with their hips than I am right now, this would be really effective. And again, just kind of hanging out, moving down to the next prong and so forth, trying to get a little bit deeper, really cram things in there. Um, you notice it's a little bit tricky to get down in there to that next lower prong. Some of you that are super mobile, maybe you could even slide your body a little bit further under and get even deeper. But uh, in any event, I can see that one being really helpful. And we're going to go ahead and switch into this next one, which again, unfortunately, with my hips after the surgery is not um, doing too hot for me. But check this one out here where you basically actually go into a really deep squat, but you have the band to kind of bob you up a little bit. And then again, you just kind of hang out down in there. Uh, I've actually seen Dmitry Klokov when he's doing certain warm-ups, and he'll just kind of do this rotational rock left to right type thing. And again, using that band tension to allow your body to get into a deeper position than it normally would uh, under your own control. So those are multiple uh, moves that I do. Again, with this, I talk about banded traction stretching. I'll put up additional video of that at some point. Um, just things that have been really helpful with my hip mobility and after the surgery. But uh, this one in particular, honestly, I, I moved away from it. All of this kind of hanging upside down stuff. I'm not sure why. Um, it's just always tricky when you're trying to figure out what is contributing to um, irritation and aggravation when you're coming out of surgery and what is helping. And uh, just for a while, I'd kind of let this go. But now that I'm adding it back in, things are feeling better. And, and when I was at my best post-op, definitely uh, credit a lot of that to this kind of movement. So go ahead and give this a whirl. Again, like I said, to me, more of a... Uh, for any extended periods of time, it's more just a maintenance, maybe off days, random times, just kind of routine stuff you're doing. As far as on an actual heavy training day, I would just kind of do just enough of this needed to get yourself warmed up, but don't be spending, um, you know, 15, 20 minutes like I probably did. Again, I fast forward the video but, um, and, and cut out periods of me just hanging out in certain positions for extended periods of time. But um, just kind of keep that in mind, pencil it in and uh, let me know what you think.